Okay, this is a word that God gave uh, Glenda, um, and this I just find very kind of speaking to my heart a bit about some stuff I've seen on YouTube. Which is more important? <clears throat> Times are coming soon when you will not understand what is happening or why certain things are taking place in the world. My people, some of you have decided in your minds how the end of days shall play out. But you are mistaken. There are things coming you know not of and that will confuse you. No man knows the day or the hour. He also does not know my whole plan, for I did not reveal every detail to you in my word. To those who are watching and praying continuously for me, it will not matter. You wait my son's return with great joy, and you have learned to abstain or abound in your present state, so you are happy either way, and this I desire." I desire you would be about my work and loving my people each day. I desire you would be increasing the unity among you each day. I desire you would be learning more about my word and about and my ways and avoiding the evil one each day. For these things are more needful than you trying to guess the day of my son's return. Sufficient for each day is the evil thereof. Do you not see the lost are dying every day? Do you not know how my heart grieves for them when this happens and my people are busy talking about my return when I am pleading with them to spend time in prayer for the lost? Which is more important, when I will return or what I will find upon my return? And just, you know... I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of post-trib, pre-trib, mid-trib, whatever trib you want to talk about. It point is, it doesn't matter in the long scope of things. No man knows. No man knows whether it's going to be post-trib or pre-trib. Just throw that all out the, little, the door right now. And I'm not even talking about, don't even try to argue about, well, this is this and this is that. The most important thing I'm trying to get across right now is not when, but what are we doing right now? Are we praying for the lost? Are we worrying about, you know, okay, God's coming back on this, 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 or this day. Or he's going to be coming back on this day, or whatever. And we need to be more about the lost people. And praying for them. I mean, we just need the Holy Ghost to just come upon the people that are lost. Because when God returns, that's it kind of deal. You know, God's judgment is going to be... And, you know, who can stand in the day of the Lord's judgment? I mean, we want the people to be saved, not say, Hey, well, I just want to get out of here right now. And that's all good and saying, you know, hey, I would love to get out of here right now too myself. But hey, you know what? We got people out there that need to be saying and need to be saved now. We need to be saying, hey, let's not fight about mo post trib, pre trib, mid trib, whatever trib. We all are and should be in unity. I mean, we all should be one in Christ. I mean, the post tribbers, mid tribbers, pre tribbers, you know. Bottom line is that's not the most important issue. The most important issue is praying for the lost. Not praying that God, hey, take me out of here. But it's praying for the lost because, hey, let's face it. We have eternity to deal with, to be with God. But on the other hand, the lost people don't have eternity yet to be with God. All right, so it's all good and said. Hey, let's let's go to heaven right now. Yeah, I'm. I, you know, I would wish for that too myself. And uh, you know, long story short, we got people here on Earth that need to be saved. More important than we worrying about like, oh, we're going to spend eternity. Yes, this is very important that we are going to be important, be with God for eternity. But let's take some people with us. All right, all right. Love y'all. Hopefully, it's not too harsh. But bye.